This is my review of the Beach Boys album Little Deuce Coop. It was released in 1963, produced by Brian Wilson. Uh, so this, this album, I don't really remember when I got this copy of it specifically. It's kind of it's kind of a weird album because they didn't pair it with the um, with Surfer Girl, which it came after, because it would have some repeat songs if they did. So they put it with like All Summer Long, which kind of caused me to not listen to that album as much as I probably should have because I haven't really listened to this album a lot because most of it is uh, songs that are on other albums, which, well, I'm not sure if most of it, but a lot of it's songs that are on other albums. So I always saw it as kind of kind of pointless. Uh, I'm kind of annoying that they did that like I, I'm not really sure what the reason for that was uh, the other thing with this album is it's kind of a it's kind of a concept album like it's all about cars as some people talk about it as like one of the earliest concept albums I don't know I don't even know really whether to consider it a concept album but I don't really know what counts as one and what doesn't <laughs> um, but uh, anyway it's it's pretty much all about Cars, except for one song, really be true, be true to your school. Um, this uh, last night when I listened to it to do this review is probably the first time that I've listened to it uh, in its entirety ever, really, except for I think maybe the first time I got it, I listened to it with all of the songs. Uh, even when like on my iTunes, I had it um, kind of taken off all the songs on it that were on other albums, so I just left the original tracks and kind of had like more of an EP. Uh, so it was kind of a cool to listen to the whole thing, and uh, I think my opinion of it's kind of gone up a little bit. I mean, it is—it's a lot of car songs. I'm not like huge into cars. I mean, I watch NASCAR, but I'm not like super into cars. Uh, but I mean, I, I kind of like the Beach Boys car songs um, when I, I went and saw them on their reunion tour in uh, 2012 and uh, in Cincinnati. And I remember it was really cool because they did like, they played like a first half of the show and then they took a break and played a second half. But ending the first half of the show, they did like all the car songs kind of at once. And uh, there was this kind of storm almost coming in while they did it. So it was like kind of really windy. And the, the effect of it was just really cool. And it was kind of one of the highlights of the concert, I thought. So um, I don't know, the car, the car songs are kind of cool in a way because some of them are more energetic. So there's also a lot of like ballads on this album which are kind of surprising. They were doing a bunch of ballads about car songs because those um, actually tend to kind of be more of the songs on the album that I like because of probably because of Brian's vocals. But uh, anyway, so the songs themselves, it starts off with Little Deuce Coop which I'm not really going to talk about because I've already talked about it and I can't even remember which album it was on before this. But it's one of the songs that was already on an album. Uh, the second song, Ballad of Old Betsy, uh, it's a song by Brian and Roger Christian, uh, and it's one of those kind of ballad songs, but uh, then it's about a car, but <laughs> I think it's a really good song. Um, love Brian's vocal on it, just he, he gives a great lead vocal. Third song, Be True to Your School, I think was kind of a hit for them, at least it was on, on the Greatest Hits album, there's I had. Um, and they played it live when I saw them. It's never never been one of my favorite songs by them. I always thought it was kind of cheesy. Um, this version is actually different than some of the other versions. Some of the other versions have like the, the cheerleader voices and stuff. And this one doesn't. But it's just not not really one of my favorite of their songs. Um, but it's it's not bad. I don't hate it or anything. I don't skip it. Um, just not, not one of my favorites. Uh, the fourth song, Car Crazy Cutie. Uh, another song by Brian and Roger Christian, which I never really realized how much like songs he wrote on the co-wrote on this album with Brian. For some reason, I thought that he was one of the collaborators that wrote less with Brian, but he's actually got a lot of songs um, with them. And uh, I I think it's a cool song. Uh, it's got like these kind of really like prominent backing vocals, and then Brian uh, gives like a really cool lead, and I just think it's like really cool the way their vocals kind of like I don't know 